and there we go. No. In video. Okay. So I'm going to get started. Feel free to uh, interrupt me while I'm working. Yes, Jorge. I mean, Jaime. Yes, Jaime. Okay, guys. So, and we're going to do two point perspective outside. Okay, two point outside perspective. Okay. So, we are going to start with the horizon. A horizon, a straight line in the world. Okay. So, we're going to start the horizon. But first, so we're going to do a horizon and two vanishing points. Okay. Two vanishing points, and we're gonna use orthogonal lines, which are side to side. Those are side to side lines, orthogonal. Okay, so we're only gonna use these two dots. We're gonna use orthogonals and vertical lines, so up and down. A vertical lines are up and down, and side to side, that's orthogonal. And two vanishing points, okay? Only one horizontal line, only one. Okay, so that's that's the plan for two point perspective. Okay, so let's do the horizon. I'm gonna do it a little bit below the middle. Okay. Remember, guys, if you follow along, you can turn it in already. You can turn this one in. You don't have to do it again. Okay. If you follow along, you can turn this one in. So you have to do it all over again. Okay, so that's my horizontal line, my horizontal line. And now I'm going to add two vanishing points. One on one side of the paper and the other in the other side. Two points. Okay. So I'm thinking of doing be a building. Let's do the uh, the Greek temple. So this is going to be the side of my building, okay? The side of my building. That's going to be the side of my building, one side, okay? And now I'm going to connect it to both vanishing points. This is the bottom of the building. I'm gonna do it lightly so that I can erase. I'm connecting it from vanishing point to the bottom of the building. And the other one as well. Connect this vanishing point to the other, to the bottom of the building. Okay, so I drew it lightly so that I can erase later. Okay, now the top of the building. Let's do the top of the building. Vanishing point to the top of the building. Okay, vanishing point to the top of the building. And drawing a line. and the other vanishing point to the top of the building. Okay, so this is the side of my building. This is the rooftops. This is the bottom, okay? Now let's close the building. Let's close the building. So we're gonna make a vertical line up and down, straight up and down to close the building. We, that's the that's the side of the building. And that's the other side. Okay. So this is my side of the building. This is my building. And I'm going to erase some lines that I don't need. 
uh, that are not part of the building. Okay, so I'm erasing the lines that I don't need. And maybe inside too, the inside the horizontal line inside the building. Okay, so do you guys see my building? I'm gonna make the bottom line thicker so that you can see it better. Okay, so that's the side of the building, my building. Let's do a rooftop. How do you do a rooftop? We're gonna find the center of this line, the center of this. Wait, but first we're gonna make this rectangular prism uh, 3D. So how we do that, is we connect this point to the other side, to the other vanishing point, very lightly so that you can erase it. This point to that point, and now the opposite point to the opposite vanishing point. So we make sure that it connects to the vanishing point. Okay, we make sure that it connects to the vanishing point. And we make it lightly so that we can erase it. So now you found the corner of the back of the building. So we're gonna make a horizontal line up and down very lightly so that we can erase it. So that's the point in the back of the building. That's the back wall the back side of the wall. How about the top one? Let's do the top one. So remember, opposite, opposite uh, vanishing point to the opposite side of the wall. We're gonna connect it very lightly so we can erase later. And now this, the, this one, this vanishing point to the, to the back of the building, okay? We're gonna connect that. Since it's a bit far away, I am going to aim it. We're making it lightly so that I can erase it. Okay, so I found my rooftop, my rooftop and the bottom line. So now I know the back corner. This is the back corner of the building, okay? The back corner. So did you guys see, did you see how I did it? Yes, you're doing good, okay. So now we find the center let me erase a lot of lines that I don't need to not get confused. So I am clearing the lines inside this square. Okay. So Margarita, I will repeat this for you. It's Margarito, Margarito I'm sorry. Margarito, uh, I'll repeat this for you, okay? So the opposite corners, so you see these are the, this is the, uh, the front of the building, right? This is the bottom side, the bottom side. This is the back of the building. So we're gonna cross them with the opposite vanishing point. So cross them to the, the vanishing points, the, the opposite. So we're gonna cross the back of the building to this vanishing point, not to this one, and to the and the back of the building to this to this point. Do you do you can you see it now? 
So, so we, we crossed the lines and now we found the corner of the back. And the same with the top roof, the rooftops. Okay, the opposites are meet. So you got it? Yeah. Okay, good. Okay, so now that we have the back, the back wall, this is the back wall, this is the front wall. Now we find the middle. How do we find the middle? We cross from side to side. This is one wall. Okay. So let me hide the rest so that you can see it. So that's one wall. So now we find the middle by making an X from, from corner to corner. We find the middle by making corner to corner. Corner to corner. So now, can you see that X? There is an, a dot in the center. So we're gonna make a vertical line. Make sure it's straight, up and down. If it's not straight, it will come out raw. So that's the center of the building. Okay, I wanna make a rooftop, a triangular rooftop. So I made, that's the center. Now, what about the back of the building? That's the back. You see it? That's the back that we did. So we're gonna find the center too by creating an X. We create an X. We create an X only in that square and we find the center as well. Look, there's my point in the center and I'm gonna make a vertical line. A vertical line. If you guys have questions, just uh, raise your voice, okay? And I'll repeat something for you. So now we found, we found the center line of the front of the building and the back of the building. Can you see it? We found the center. Do we follow along? If you, if you want to turn this one in, you can. So you don't have to do you, you don't have to do it again. But and then um, I also want you guys to uh, demonstrate to me at the end that you're working. Okay, so now let, we're gonna make a triangular rooftop. Okay, so I am going to connect the center line with the edge of the wall. Making it a little bigger. So I'm connecting the edge to the other edge. I mean the center to the edge of the house. So now we have a triangular rooftop. What about the back? Well, we're gonna connect this corner, this uh, top rooftop point to this vanishing point, okay? We're gonna connect that. Oh, it's a little low, but it's okay. We're connecting that point You know what? I'm going to make this a little bigger. So I'm going to erase this corner to make the rooftop a little taller. So that's the center. And now I'm going to, again, draw from the top corner, I mean the top rooftop point to the side of the wall and the other side. And now I'm going to connect this point to that point. The reason I made it bigger was because if I left it at that short, you see it would have been almost touching the other line and I didn't want that. So now that it's taller, 
it won't look awkward. So see, this, this point and this point will connect, but you're gonna stop in the center of the back wall, okay? Oops. I'm gonna make this thicker so that you can see better. So that's the rooftop. And now the center to the edge of the back of the wall. And then I'm going to erase some lines. I'm gonna erase all the lines inside because I don't need them anymore. I don't need these lines inside anymore. Oh, not that one. So I erased all the lines inside. So you see now we can do so much with this. We can do a barn. Let's do a Greek temple. Let's do a Greek temple. But you can do a house, you can do an apartment. Again? You have a question? Can you do the roof again or show me how to do it again? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So we did the sides of the building. So you had to the back and the front, right? Did you got that part? Yeah. So now we're going to connect from uh, side to side, corner to corner in both, both of the, uh, the walls, both of the walls. So make an X and then you're going to find a point. With that point, you're going to make a line straight up and down and go up until you want the rooftop to stop. Okay. Let me know when, uh, when I'm, when you want me to move on. All right. You're still doing it. You can move on. Okay. So now you're going to connect the point on top to the side of the house or building wall. So connect the points. So then you make the perfect triangle on top and the back one too. You connect the top point to the, to the back center wall, okay? So those are the, my two points. And then you're gonna finish that uh, line by connecting it to the side of the house. Okay, so now that I have my, uh, my building, we can decorate it, okay? You can do so much with this. You can add windows, you can add a door, you can add a barn door, but I'm going to do a Greek temple with pillars, okay? A little more complicated. So let's do, I'm going to do the bottom first, the, uh, the base of the building. I'm going to make it a little thicker. Okay, that's the bottom of the building. It's going to be a bit thicker. So that's the base of my building. Okay, that's the base. Now I can add the pillars. The pillars. How can I add pillars? So we have the middle line. Um, and then we can find the middle of this square by doing the X again. So we're going to do the X again to find another middle, another center point. So we found another middle and then we can make a vertical line again. Okay. 
And now we're going to look for the other middle. So we have Okay, so now we're going to make another X in the other side. And now you found another middle. So we're going to do use a vertical line. So now we have one, two, three lines that are perfectly uh, separated. Okay, we have one line, two lines, three lines, four, five. Okay, so we have a couple lines and they're perfectly separated. Okay, so we can make pillars now. Let's look up how many pillars does the Greek temple have? Or Mr. Godinez, do you wanna tell me or do I look? Um, there's actually a formula for figuring it out. It oh, matter. okay, so. It's, so it's, uh, two times whatever you have in the front, Two times that number plus one for the side. Oh, that's going to be very complicated. So that means if there's four columns in the front, then there's nine on the side. Got it. Okay. So we're just going to um, create our own Greek temple because the original one is very complicated. So let's make a pillar. A pillar. The first pillar. The first pillar is going to be one pillar two pillars, three pillars, four pillars, five. Huh, I think that's too many pillars. Let's just make one, two, three, four, four pillars. Okay, pillar number one. So that's my first pillar. Okay, that's my first pillar, but it's a square shape. It's like in a square. We can make it round by adding details, such as erasing this line in the center and making a curve lines to imply that it's a curving shape, not a straight shape. Oops. You know, just for just for the demonstration, I'm going to keep it into a a straight edge. Just for the demonstration, you can actually use this same figure to do anything. You can do a house, you can do a barn, but I'm going to add a pillar just to stylize the building. I decided to do it straight for the demonstration. Now we're going to do the other side. So that's pillar one, pillar two. And let's do a, you know what? Let's do a door. Let's do a temple, a door. So we're going to do a door. a big door and right in the middle. So I'm connecting it to the vanishing point. So I have a door. I'm doing a door. I can add steps here. So I'm erasing lines I don't need, so it won't confuse me. So I have a pillars, I have a door. I can even design this door. Let's design it a bit. I'm going to add lines using the vanishing points. I'm adding uh, designs to this door.
oops so I'm adding an outline inside to outline the, the lines it already has and it's going to be a double door That's my door with the handles. Let's do some stairs. This is some stairs. How would I do the stairs? Huh. So first start with the back of the stairs. So I lower the line. That's the back of my stairs. So we're gonna do one step, okay? One, two steps. So Let's find the place where I want to start the step. It's gonna be right in the middle. And then we're gonna make a line. So that's the start of my first step. And now I'm using the vanishing point, the opposite to do the side, okay? My ruler's a bit small, so I'm going to aim it. And I'm going to aim the other one as well. Vanishing point to the other side of the stairs. And now I'm going to connect them. I'm connecting the steps. And now a vertical line. A vertical line. So now, Again, vanishing point. And one vanishing point. So you see, I got my steps and I'm gonna erase lines I don't need. So you see, I got one step to go inside the door. Okay. So I'm going to do a temple or a church. I want some designs here. Let's add some designs. So I'm going to add a line highlighting this triangle on top. So I'm highlighting I'm highlighting keeping it the way keeping it uh mimicking that line. So you see I put my ruler like that and now I moved it. Now I'm mimicking that line. And to finalize it, I'm gonna use a vanishing point to connect them. You see, I'm using the vanishing points to decorate my building. Okay, so now let's do some windows. Let's do some windows. How would you, how will I do the windows? So remember, a vanishing point, connect it. Vanishing point, connecting it. I'm gonna make a light. I'm going to make a light line so I can erase it, but it's just a guideline. Okay, that's my guideline of the bottom of my windows. And now the top of my windows. A guideline. I'm going to erase this line. Okay, so those are my two guidelines. Now use a vertical line, vertical line. Vertical line for one window. And to close that window, another vertical line. So now I'm going to darken the guideline on top and on bottom. So I have one window. 
let's do three more, two more windows. So I'm using, I'm going to separate it and using a vertical line. to start the next window. Now I'm gonna close the window. Okay. And now I am doing the, the bottom of the window and the top of the window. Almost done guys. So the top of the window. The side of the window. So I got my three windows. You can decorate them. I can put a frames on it. I can uh, decorate the windows, maybe stained glass. Um, I can add trees. Let me add a tree in the side of the house, in the back of the houses. some mountains in the distance, some mountains in the distance, and a let's add a tree in the back of the house. I'm adding a tree because it's outdoors, okay? I'm doing an outdoors scene, so I'm adding a tree. I'm adding the branches. I'm erasing lines I don't use, I'm darkening it up. And now I can do the shape of the leaves. I'm doing an, out an outline so that I know Okay, so now I can add the details of my tree. So that's my tree. That's, and some texture, some grass. So, and then I can add, how about let's add a moon. I want it nighttime. We're gonna add a moon. So I'm doing a circle, a light circle. And I'm creating that moon. It's gonna be a night scene. Okay. How about some clouds. big clouds. You can't really see them, but it's okay. Okay, so can I see you guys' work? If you followed along with me, can I see your work? Let me see Leonardo. Very nice, Leonardo, very nice. Anybody else at their work? Mar Margarito? Oh, yeah, very nice. Very nice, Eric. Margarito. Edgar. Very nice. Uh, Veronica. Thank you, Veronica. Very good. So um, if you finish this drawing, you can turn it in as the assignment. I will post it on Google Classroom. Or you can do your own. Uh, if you turn this assignment, if you turn this one in, uh, add more, add more details, decorate the windows, add some plants. You can add some people, add something, add more things to it. Okay. So I'm going to continue this drawing by decorating my house. I can even add a house right here in the back. I can add uh, some grass, a dog, a dog little house. Right here, let's add a dog little house. Wait, let me check. 
we leave at 9.59. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to continue my, decorating my house and adding a dog house right here. Okay, I could do designs in the windows, but uh, I'm gonna do a dog house now. So I'm using the vanishing points, okay? To create another little house, just like this one, but right here, okay? So I am, um, first of all, where do I want the corner of my doggy house? Right there, no. I want the corner right there. So then I am going to I'm going to connect the vanishing point to the side of the little dog house. Very lightly so that I can erase it. Now the other side. This is the bottom house of the dog house. It's the bottom. Okay. So now we're gonna use a vertical line up and down. How big do I want my dog house? Let's see. Is that tall enough? Yeah, it's gonna be a small dog. So that's the side of the dog house. And now I'm going to connect it to the vanishing point. Vanishing point. Okay, so that's the rooftop and I'm going to connect it with a vertical point. Make sure it's up and down, straight up and down. So that's one side of my doghouse. And let's finish it by connecting it to the vertical, I mean, sorry, to the vanishing point. So I'm connecting it with this vanishing point to this corner, okay? and a vertical line, vertical, up and down, vertical. We can finish the doghouse by connecting the rooftop to the vanishing point and the other side. Okay, so that's a box, but I want a rooftop. Remember how we did the triangle? On top, let's find the center again. We're gonna make an X in the center. And now we have a point in the middle. So now we make a perfectly straight up and down line. So that's the corner of the rooftop. Now I'm going to connect it to the edges. Boom. So that's my first one. And now I'm going to connect the top of the rooftop to the vanishing point. Okay. I could find this, the back of the, of the house to make it perfect, but I'm just going to aim it. I'm just gonna copy this line since it's a small drawing. It's a small box. I'm just gonna copy it. And that looks about right, so I'm gonna keep it. So there's my dog house. Let's add an entrance to the dog house. We can decorate it. You can add the doggy inside, their name tag, their, uh, their name. How about a crooked name tag? And then you can put his name right there. How about a doggy bowl? Be creative, guys, in your drawings. But doggy bowl with food, needs water. And what about the inside of the dog house? Remember, you're connecting the vanishing point to the back, to the side of the wall. 
So that's the inside of the doghouse. Now I'm add a little bit of shade. So I know that it's very little light inside. Can you mute yourself, please? I come on, baby, we got this. Can you mute yourself, please? Behind us, behind us, behind us. I don't know who it is. What's up, nigga? Pull it. Okay, found you. Yeah, I found you. Okay, so so make sure to decorate your uh, your um, your drawing, guys, before turning it in. If you turn this one in, or you can go to YouTube and copy somebody else's. Okay. Let me see you guys' drawing. Did you guys change it a bit more? Leonardo, let me see Leonardo. Oh, very nice. What is that? Plants? You did you did plants? Dolls. Oh, okay. Nice. Very nice. All right, guys. So I'm going to add this video if you want to take a look at it again, with the, along with other videos. You can also look in YouTube. Uh, so you can do two-point perspective, okay? Two-point perspective. I haven't added the assignment yet, but I will add that soon. Okay, guys? Did we did it? Is Mr. Williams already? Okay, guys, if you didn't have your cameras on, write your name in the chat because uh, Mr. Godinez marked you absent if you didn't have your camera on. Okay. Thank you, guys.